The goal of this exercise is to become familiar with the effect of changing frequency and amplitude. Step 1. Turn the volume down on your speakers and headphones. Test tones can be an unexpectedly loud sound and become tiresome to listen to. Step 2. Open the Tone Generator Song Session. Turn the Tone Generator plugin on. Adjust the volume of your headphones and speakers to a low listening level. Step 3. See the waveform in the Scope plugin. The wavelength of the sine wave is the length of one cycle. For example, from the baseline up to a peak, down to a trough, and back to the baseline. See the spectrum in the Spectrum Meter plugin. It shows the frequency and amplitude of the sine waves that make up the waveform. Step 4. Change the frequency of the sine wave. This changes the pitch. If you have full range speakers or headphones, you may be able to hear from about 20 hertz up to about 20,000 hertz. Notice how increasing the frequency decreases the wavelength. Step 5. Click and drag up and down on the level knob to adjust the volume. Increasing the level increases the amplitude of the waveform seen in the scope. Step 6. While you're in the Tone Generator plugin, you can hear what some other waveforms sound like. Sine waves are the basic building blocks out of which all other sounds are made. You can use the spectrometer to see the amplitude of the sine wave components that make up different waveforms. The sawtooth waveform has more components than the square. and white noise has more high-frequency energy than pink noise.